avocados are not GMO. You all know what this is, right? It's an avocado. Most of you also know that this is a Haas variety avocado. But did you know that there has only ever been one Haas avocado tree grown from seed? If that's the case, then how do Americans consume 4 billion avocados a year? Where do those avocados come from? They're coming from trees. They're coming from trees not unlike this avocado tree. But the trees weren't created by planting a seed from a Haas avocado in the ground. Instead, we used a technique called grafting. 90 days ago, I did a video on this very topic. And if you want to be entertained, go to the video. I'll put a link somewhere around here. Go to the video and read the comments. Because I got slaughtered. People did not want to accept that if you take the seed from an avocado and plant it in the ground, the resulting tree will not give you fruit identical to that avocado. They were shouting at me in the comments. My son says when they use all caps, that means they're shouting. You know, Daddy, why are they shouting at you? I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, they're using all caps. And they weren't just using all caps. They were using a lot of exclamation points and a lot of them nasty looking emojis like little devils like her with like fire coming out their heads. And the funny thing about it was it seemed like the nicest the name, the meaner the person was. Like, like someone with a name like Vegan Fairy Pixie Dust would be all caps like, you are an asshole. <laughs> you don't care about nature. You just want people to buy fruit from you. Or like Earth Mama 1972. This man is a jackass. Don't believe a word he says. Corporations are trying to control our food source and they're patenting everything. It's a government conspiracy. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. But it seemed the more incorrect the person's assumptions were, the more adamant they were. These are not genetically modified organisms. Nobody's going in there and tinkering with the DNA of avocados. Nobody's doing selective hybrids and things like that to come up with seeds that won't work to make sure the consumer has to go to the grocery store to buy our fruit. It's not a conspiracy. It's the way nature works. We are simply selecting the fruit that are appealing to human beings and using a technique called grafting to propagate the trees that create that fruit. Now, are some crops produced through genetic manipulation, genetic engineering? Yeah, a lot of the corn we eat. In fact, most of the corn we eat is probably produced that way. Cotton, soybeans, I think even some types of potatoes, but not avocados. Avocado varieties are discovered through a process called seedling selection. Seedling selection means that we plant a bunch of seeds and allow them to grow. Now, eventually, these little seedlings here will reach maturity like this tree right here. And they will produce fruit. And each of them will produce a unique fruit according to its DNA programming. So this tree right here, for example, might produce a fruit that looks like that. This tree might produce a fruit that looks like this one. And then this little guy here might produce a fruit that looks like this. Now let's say we bite into this one and it tastes disgusting. And we let a hundred other people taste it and they agree, that is disgusting, I could never eat that. Well then we know that this tree is not one we're going to select. We have not found a new variety of avocado. Likewise, this guy over here, we bite into it, it smells bad, what have you, no one would ever eat it. We know we don't want to propagate this tree either. But this guy here, someone bites into it and says, wow, that's really delicious. So we go back to the tree that it came from and we see that not only is the fruit delicious, but it produces a lot of fruit. It produces consistently year after year. And the tree is also very healthy. We say, wow, we have just discovered a new variety of avocado. When people told Rudolf Haas how much they loved the avocado his seed grown tree was producing, he decided he wanted to make more. And Rudolf Haas knew about avocado biology and he knew he couldn't plant more trees from the seed of his fruit. He knew he had to go out to that productive tree and take clippings from it and graft those clippings onto other trees. Let me show you what I mean. 
Here we have a potted Donny variety avocado. Somewhere along the line, someone planted a tree and noticed that not only was it giving delicious tasting fruit, but that fruit was edible in May, which is early for avocados. So that was something unique and something that should be replicated. And again, you can't just take those fruit and plant the seeds in the ground because you won't get another tree that tastes delicious and also fruits in May. So they began grafting Donny avocados. Let me show you what that means. Here you see a seedling. This is a, a tree that I'm growing from seed. When this gets a little bigger and the diameter of this stem gets to be about the thickness of say like a pencil or maybe a cigarette, I will graft another variety. I'll, I'll snip the top of this and graft a new variety into it. As we did here with this Donny. So here you see the rootstock or the original tree that was grown from seed. Then you notice this scar here. This is where a cut was made into that stem and a clipping from a healthy Donny tree was inserted into there. The result is we now have a Donny tree growing. And next week, this little guy, along with these other Donnies, will be planted in my grove. No engineering, no genetic manipulation, no selective breeding. We've just been planting seeds and letting them rip and continuing the ones we like. Hold on a second, I have to interrupt the video. My neighbor just yelled to me from the adjacent farm. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Dónde? Hay un, oh, un, un iguana. Déjame, a, déjame a grabarlo, mira. Look at this iguana. Let's see if you can see it there, down there. Well, let's see, am I in the way? Wow, nice big iguana. But look at here. Look at the beautiful gift my neighbor just gave me. Hung on the fence, some nice eggs. Gracias. ¿Quiere decir algo, a, alguien a la gente? Mm -hmm. Oh, de, de aquí de la finca. Sí, Encantada. Con... Yo soy de la ciudad, yo vivo en Miami y mi hijo vive acá y yo siempre estoy aquí porque la finca me fascina. Me encanta venir a la finca. Gracias. Voy a traducirlo y, y gracias por los huevos. No, de vez en no, cuando no. hacemos unos cambios, ¿no? Fruta por huevos <risa> o fruta por, por, por eh, leche o algo, ¿no? Ah, no tenemos leche ahora porque como se fue el tío. Ajá. El tío en estos días va a venir ya. Ok, bueno. Diga a Noelia que cualquier cosa que necesite de mí, que estoy Aquí. Bueno, okay. voy, a, voy a decirlo. Gracias, Ay, gracias. Okay. For those of you who don't speak Spanish, she said she's a person from the city and she loves living on the farm. Her son bought that farm and she's been living here and she just gave me these delicious eggs to bring back to my wife. And also we talked about how sometimes we do trade. So if we have fruit that she likes, we'll pick some fruit and put it in a basket and go hang it on the fence. And then if we come by later, we'll magically find some eggs or she'll give us a call to come by to pick up some fresh uh, milk. And when I say fresh milk, I mean right out of the cow. Uh, she also makes cheese and certain kind of sweets. And then, you know, as I'm heading back in with this basket of eggs for my wife, I notice here's an, here's an avocado still on the tree, one that we mi missed when we were picking. So I'll just pick that guy there, stick it in the basket. You don't want to squash those eggs. And there we go. Anyway, back to my explanation that avocados are not genetically modified organisms. Avocados are not GMO. Avocados are not genetically modified organisms. You now know where they come from. You now know the nature of avocado seeds and why they don't grow true. You now have the ability and knowledge to grow the particular variety of avocado you want right in your own backyard. Now, as you see behind me here, my trees are no longer heavy with fruit like they were just a couple of months ago. That's because we're all sold out. And right now, I also happen to be sold out of trees. But if you like this t-shirt, you want to get a shirt like this or maybe a Sleepy Lizard sticker, go to guacfarm.com. G-U-A-C-F-A-R-M.com. While you go out to guacfarm.com, I got to go sit in my office and start preparing responses for all the hate this video is going to send my way. And I will see you on the next video.